Hey, happy Tuesday, September 20th, 2023. I'm going to another AA event. It's been um, really rough lately. Hey everyone, I made it to my seven o'clock meeting. And as usual, it's been a pretty good meeting. I am starting to realize I never mean to upset people. And I'm, then I'm like, why do I really care? If this is my platform, I'm not forcing anybody to watch me. I actually do a lot of the stuff for me. I like watching myself do videos and I forget things super easy. I have a TBI. Have I mentioned that? I probably have. And when I go through, I deem what was important for the day, what wasn't, and I put them on a couple different places because when it's just my Google, I've lost the password to so many Google accounts. All my pictures from in the service are gone. Well, one person that I'm no longer associated with deleted them all from a certain period of time. So I like seeing, oh, that happened. And it gives me a much better understanding. I recently found um, when I was in Bath, New York, and I had a totally different image in my head of how that went. I thought I was really happy and good. I was a bitch. I was an angry, pissed off person. Um, I look, much different. And remember, back then, I was, um, I looked at myself as non-binary, and maybe not for the reason you think. It was because, um, my mother put womanhood on such a pedestal, I could not dare use that word to be associated with me whatsoever. And then I was like, wait, a lot of people misunderstand what I'm saying. I didn't say I'm not male. I am a male. I don't want surgery. Um, my gender? woman and i think when other people say that they mean it a lot more like i am a woman and okay i am fine with that but that's not exactly what i mean i would i don't know what it would be like if i was born a female i'm a male signed at birth and still i'm a male but it describes me much better and it just fits for the labels that are out there Remember that the things that I use now to describe myself aren't labels I gave myself. They were labels given to me for what fit best. In other countries and other cultures, no, it's something, it's different. Um, in India, for example, I would just be called third gender, um, which has been around for a very long time. And I really do wish that it didn't have anything to do with, with um, being associated with one's sex that I could say, yeah, I'm a man and this is how I like to be. And being a man had nothing to do with how you act and dressed. But unfortunately in America, no, there are very distinct camps on the subject. And that you can't be like that. You can't say that because it'll be taken the wrong way. Oh, someone left grapes. So I'm eating grapes. Um, and there's like the camp that tells me I'm a mental illness and says they're not going to go into my delusion. What mental illness exactly is there? You know, I know everything that's going on in my reality. Everyone has a different reality. Everyone has different truths. You can have more than one truth. It's not like facts where there's alternative facts. No. But when you start attributing meaning to the facts, that's where truth comes in. My truth is, I am just who I am. I am just me. I'm not hurting anyone. And the ones that maybe say they are hurt, it's not intentional. Maybe they need to take a look at themselves. Because sometimes I'm put in the position of, you need to be miserable so that we feel better about ourselves. I'm like, why? Too many people care too much about what other people say. The people that have the need to say terrible things to people that are my friends or connected to me somehow about me why would you listen to someone that's so broke on the inside and don't know it that the only way they can feel better is to put others down I don't put people down I disagree with a lot of people but I'm still able to have conversations with them until they become 
hostile. Um, as long as they... No, I shouldn't say that. Even people with really messed up views on me. I don't usually attack back, like, verbally. I just don't get why it's such a big deal when it's not affecting them. You know, and the thing I hate the most is when people say, hide the kids. Why do you say that? Like, in what way? I mean, is it because I said I was gonna, I, um, I wanted to become a Catholic priest at the time? Because it's generally um, straight cis men. I know some of you hate cis, but I've got to add that in because, so you know I'm not talking about someone that's trans. They're the ones that statistically have messed with kids. Um, I was a preschool teacher when I was in grad school for Head Start. Like, um, what? I don't get what you think is going to go on. I, I don't even want to be around that age of kids, you know, now that I'm older. It was hard work being a teacher. You get little pay. I liked it, like singing the songs. You know, it was very animated. Um, it was a great program. But to say purely based on how I look, I'm like some sort of deviant, that, that does hurt. Because I don't like that. And you can have your opinion on not liking me, but why do you have to question my military service? When people say stolen valor to me, I get really pissed off. And that's not me being transgender pissed off. That's me as a veteran being pissed off. Ask yourself if you're a vet out there and just because of a characteristic on you, you were told you couldn't possibly have served. And if you did, you were a blue falcon shitbird. That would piss you off, wouldn't it? Yeah, it pisses me off. And there's so many, like, issues on things that it's not my opinion because you've labeled me trans. It's my label because of who I am. My life experiences. When I hear people talk shit about how teachers get paid too much and have too much time off, I know how much work it is and what's expected of a teacher and what we have in our hands are the future of the country, the future of your children, your family. Is there really a price where you're going to say that's too much for a good teacher? Maybe you should like wonder if your school's not doing so well. How much do the teachers get? Um, teachers can go to other places. And the teachers that can't? You know, I don't know. They could be awesome teachers. Maybe they're not. Let's see what else. I remember we did this with people of, that were Muslim. Um, anytime there was anything that went on, we connected it to the faith of Islam when it was mostly Christians that did a lot of domestic terrorism. I, I'm Christian, so I'm not bashing Christianity. I'm just saying, Timothy McVeigh, Oklahoma, that was a Christian that did it. There's a lot of Christian nationalists. So it's not always who you think it is. And it seems like now to be trans is the boogeyman. I hate when people say it's a fat ad or people do it to have clout. Why? Did a lot of people convert to Islam because it was the cool thing to do to be accused of something just because a minority of your religion happened to be involved in things? That in all reality, we're far more political than religious. But I'm not going to get into that. 